all grade 6 students. In today's learning session, we are going to study the perimeter of polygons. So far, you only learned the perimeter of a triangle. And today, we are going to go further studying the perimeter of other polygons. As you all know, the perimeter of any polygon is determined by measuring the lengths of all its sides and adding them up. Let's start finding the perimeter of a polygon by considering the two examples found on your textbook, page 149. As you see, there are two pentagons, one a regular pentagon and the second is an irregular pentagon. Let's go back to the regular pentagon having each side measures 6 centimeters. The perimeter of this is equal to the length of side times 5 is equal to 6 times 5 is equal to 30 centimeters. The irregular pentagon is equal to 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 10 plus 9 giving us a total of 52 centimeters. The third example is a hexagon having each side measuring 9 millimeters. The perimeter of this regular hexagon is equal to 9 times 6, which is 54 millimeters. The last example on this page is a regular octagon. The perimeter of this regular octagon is equal to 4 times 8, giving us a product of 32 meters. Turn your textbook on the next page. Which polygon has the greatest perimeter? A hectagon, a quadrilateral, or a triangle? Based on the pictures, the perimeter of the heptagon is equal to 3 centimeters plus 3 centimeters plus 2 centimeters plus 2.5 centimeters plus 3 centimeters plus 2.5 centimeters plus 2 centimeters equal to 18 centimeters. The quadrilateral perimeter is equal to 9 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 12 centimeters plus 6 centimeters, giving us a total of 33 centimeters. The triangle perimeter is equal to 3 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 5 centimeters, giving us a total of 14 centimeters. Since 33 centimeters is greater than 18 centimeters, which is also greater than 14 centimeters, Therefore, the quadrilateral has the greatest perimeter. And now, let's answer practice exercises found on page 150 of your textbook. Number one, letter A, is a regular octagon having each side measuring 7 meters. The perimeter of this polygon is therefore 7 times 8 is equal to 56 meters. Letter B. This is a hexagon. To find the perimeter of this, we simply add the dimensions of this polygon. So, 2 centimeters, 4 centimeters, 4 centimeters, plus 2 centimeters, plus 4 centimeters, plus 4 centimeters is equal to 20 centimeters. Number 2. A pentagon has a perimeter of 31 centimeters. Find the length of X. To find the value of x, you must add the given dimensions 3 centimeters plus 7 centimeters plus 4 centimeters plus 8 centimeters plus x is equal to 31 centimeters. The sum of the given dimensions is equal to 22 centimeters. So now the equation becomes x is equal to 31 centimeters minus 22 centimeters. The value of x is therefore 9 centimeters. Finding the perimeter of any polygon involves only the operation addition. Now I want you to do this as your homework. You answer our workbook exercises found on page 120 and 121. For those whose workbooks are not returned yet, you can write your answers in your notebook. So that's all for today, my dear grade 6 students. I want you to stay safe and have fun in learning online. See you next time. Bye-bye!